I was bored in forest one day when the solution to my boredom walked out of stump. He asked if I wanted to play minigames, and I gave him my typical response, 15.90. But then I wondered, is it worth joining these? So to find out, for the next 24 hours, I'll be saying yes and raiding each lobby. Make sure to watch the end because the lobbies get progressively crazier, and the craziest one is at the end. Okay, so for this one, I think we're gonna need a disguise, so cue the transition. Okay. So this is me, Oob. Do not spell it backwards, it will scare you. With our disguise ready, we were ready to go into the first lobby. If you wanna do a last to leave challenge, come to computer. Okay, okay. How on earth would a last to leave challenge work? Was he gonna be giving away a prize? I had no idea. Somehow I got picked for the leader of this challenge, and I have no idea what that even does, so we'll see. PPPV! Make a challenge. Make a challenge? I thought it was last to leave. Don't you just stay there? Completely confused, I improvised. Last to leave trampoline. Bounce to the trampoline? Yeah, I had literally no idea what I was doing. They made me pick a new challenge, but uh, this happened. Uh, challenge one, wall run on the stump for as long as you can. But did he just fall off? Okay, this makes no yeah, sense. Two out of five. It was not looking good, but maybe it'd get better. You, you wanna play monkey on the shelf? Sure. This was showing some promise, because monkey on the shelf is pretty easy to understand. I doubt there would be too much confusion. But there was a catch. Oh, we need more people, but we can find more people. In order to see the secrets of joining minigames, I had to become a minigames kid, which led me directly to this. Hey guys, you should you should join code LLE if you want to play Monkey on the Shelf, for real. LLE. With the shame I had just endured, this next lobby better be good. Now, if you don't know how Monkey on the Shelf works, the person who's tagged first selects objects to delete, and the people have to get to the other side without using that object. On a trip. Yo, get that, get that. Three round. Easy. We made it for a total of about two rounds before the tigers got a little bit antsy and tagged somebody for no reason. I was starting to wonder if we would ever be able to get a fair clean round. Yeah, let's just restart. Don't report anyone. What continued was a seemingly normal game of monkey on the shelf. It came down to me, black, and green. <laughs> they don't know I'm on TTT. Just saying. Okay. Okay, I made it. All right, wait, what do you guys delete next? You won. Oh, four to five. It's pretty much just a normal game of monkey on the shelf. It didn't take long for me to find the next mini game, but my god, this one was something else. They wanted to play Ghost in the Graveyard, which is a game where the lava monkeys go hide, and then everybody runs in, and once they see them, they go Ghost in the Graveyard, everybody runs back, and whoever can't make it back is dead. If we see them say Ghost in the Graveyard, and then uh, everybody has to run back. Oh, ghost in the graveyard. <laughs> One thing I know for sure at this point is that almost nobody knows what they're doing at any given point. It takes a couple rounds for everybody to get the hang of it. Okay, guys, go hide, go hide. After arguing about how long they should hide for, it was time to go again. Oh. <laughs> No! <laughs> now that I was tagged, I'd have to coordinate with them where to hide. And this is a lot harder than it sounds. Where are we hiding? Let's go to Wait, hey, let's hide right here, right here, right here. If we hide over here, when they come by, they won't be able to see us. Do that. Okay, what? We have to- no, we can't- okay. Okay, yeah, let's go hide down here, let's go hide down here. Come get us, come get us. Get him. The Tigers had such a disadvantage because of this, and it was clear that people were starting to get frustrated. Oh my god. Get him, one of them has to die. One of them has to die right now. Yes! Okay, Solus wins, Solus wins. Where is he, where is he? GG. That was by far the most chaotic game of Ghost in the Graveyards I've ever had. 3 out of 5. This next lobby was the craziest out of all of them combined. I joined a public lobby, and I already saw people typing on the computer, so I just asked them what they were joining. Wait, what is this code for? A minigame. Mini game. Oh, okay. They were playing a game I've never heard of called Color Rush. I asked for an explanation, but, uh... Near that door, the way right there. Oh, okay. We were hopping into this blind. Color Rush, Color Rush, Color Rush! This was not going to be fun. What am I supposed to do? Okay. I had no idea what other end they were talking about, so I just kind of winged it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I made it. I watched the rest of the game from the winner's ledge, but there was one final twist. Go over him. Trust me, it works. I gave you bad advice. Oh, this person in the hat accidentally tagged us, and it caused an all-out war. RUN! <laughs> no! The round ended and it was time for me to take my departure. Where are you going? 
uh, I have to go to space. In conclusion, Gorilla Tag Lobbies are crazy. 